Are we now have Coach Elliott? Please go ahead with questions. Hey, Coach, it's David Hubba Tiger. That looked like he had some success on that one, you know, early drive, the second one, and then it was just a, a whole lot of of nothing from from that point until the one and the fourth. What what happened? What went on that that uh, you know caused so many three and outs? Just you know, some missed opportunities. You know, a couple of uh, you know, a couple of missed assignments. You know, a couple of penalties. You know, guys behind the chains. Uh, just really, you know, kind of fell out of rhythm and was trying to figure out you know what's the best way to get us get us back in rhythm. And it took us it took us a while um, after we had the uh, had the success early. Tony, this is Larry Williams with Tiger Illustrated. I know that you do most of your self scouting stuff in the off season, but at this point, with the struggle so pronounced, how much do you reevaluate sort of the philosophy, what you're doing, or how much can you do right now? Right, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, we don't have to evaluate everything. Um, and obviously, figure out you know what's the best uh, best plan moving forward to give these guys an opportunity to go win just the next game uh, versus uh, versus uh, BC. Uh, you know, we did some self scout. You know, try to break up, break a couple of tendencies. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, it's our job as coaches to make sure that we put together the plan uh, that best gives the kids an opportunity to uh, uh, to be successful. And then from there, uh, then then they got to do their part and go make uh, go make the plays. Tony, it's Andrea Adelson with ESPN. Can you just give us a sense of how the players were feeling in the locker room afterward after after the loss? You know, very obviously very disappointed. Uh, I don't think there's many players in that locker room that fit in this position. You know, with a two and two, um, you know they they have a certain you know level of expectation, and, and every time they go out, they expect to win. Uh, the guys obviously you know proud of how hard they play. They continue to fight, uh, but we just gotta we gotta clean up mistakes. And, and obviously they're upset. Uh, they're not a they're not accustomed to this. Uh, but hopefully it'll be a, a defining moment, as I told them after the. Uh, you know, after the after the game, after Coach Sweeney addressed with the finding moment, an opportunity for us to follow away this this pain and hurt. Anything else? Yeah, hey Tony, on there in the second overtime, the third and five, and, and fourth and five. Were those the two plays that were called? The, the throws to the end zone. Was there something set up? Did the Defense do something, or you know what happened there? No, the, the, you know the, the one there was it was two it was two downs, uh, you know four down territory there. And was trying to uh, you know was trying to sneak a little pop pass off of some of the quarterback run stuff because we had two uh, uh, two deals there. They covered it. Uh, they covered the running back out of the backfield. So obviously the quarterback's next progression is go outside, uh, and then the last play, which is giving us a chance with a with a dual concept to, to get different coverage beaters and the quarterback right right. We just don't we didn't, we didn't make the play. Tony, this is Matt. Is there anything you can point to with? Can you hear me, Tony? I got you. I got you. Is, is there anything you can point to with the assignments? And is there anything you can point to with the you know, assignments? Um, with the yeah, I heard, offensive I heard line trying to get the assignments. The okay. You know, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, the, the last couple of weeks has been a different, you know, different front. So there's a lot of different communications uh, with that, with that odd structure. Um, you know, I think the guys are, are giving the effort, but, but one of the first part of our formula for success uh, is to give, you know, effort with technique. And so we've got, got to reevaluate uh, the technique. You know, so some of it's going to be uh, experience. Um, things happen fast. Um, and so, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking at everything, same thing with myself, uh, just evaluating to see you know, what I can do better uh, to help these young men uh, be successful. Anything else, Coach? Tony, this is uh, the you, very good. Did it look yeah, like – go ahead. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got you there. On the last play, it, it looked like Ross didn't get his arms out. Did, did you have a good look at that at all? Or Oh, I didn't have a great look. I don't know if, 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 if he lost the ball uh, or what it was. You know, I thought it was it was put in a situation to give him a chance, and, and for for, fun, for one reason or another, we just didn't come down with the uh, come down with the play. Anything else for coach? Hey, hey, Tony, it's David again. Now, with two heartbreaking losses in in four weeks, how do you how do you get these guys to come into practice? You know, Monday and and buy back in and. Uh, you know, kind of keep their head about them. 
No, I, th I think it's it's just reminding uh, them, the coaches, and everybody in the program. You know what our program was built on to add to the belief, uh, and and the only people that are going to get us out of this situation is, is us, and it's going to take us believing and uh, and unifying and coming together, and not letting the uh, the outside world, the outside voices uh, divide us. But we know it's going to come, uh, obviously, and rightfully so. You know we haven't we haven't you know done our best on the field, and so when you're in this arena, uh, you, you subject yourself to criticism. So we know that's coming. Uh, but they got to do a good amount of noise, simplifying their life, uh, and going back to work and, and trying to salvage what they got. They got rest in the season, uh, left in the season. You know, we're two and two, and we got eight more ball games. You know, with an opportunity uh, to win. You know, all of those. And so, and so obviously, that's got to be the focus. It's just reset, uh, own the mistakes uh, of the loss, and and, uh, and move forward and focus on you know going one and zero next week versus uh, BC. Heading into the overtime, you were one of nine on third down. Uh, yeah. DJ just didn't look comfortable on third down, and some of the throws didn't look like they were there. W was that from what you saw on the wide receivers? Was that on DJ or, or maybe a combo of both? You know, I, I got to evaluate that to just to just be fair to, you know, to all those guys. Um, you know, I evaluate it when we look on film. Um, you know, there were there were some there were some opportunities, and we just missed some opportunities in the game. You know, especially especially early that if we get to some of those opportunities. It's going to generate more momentum, you know, for us, uh, for us going forward. Tony, this is Matt again, and, and I'm sorry yeah. I was having some no, you're good, troubles and, and might have missed this earlier. But from the first quarter, when you had, when you guys had that streak of drives that just kept being three and out, three and out, um, I think it went all the way well into the second half. Just have you ever been in a situation like this where it just felt like nothing, nothing was going right, nothing you called seemed to be working? You know, I don't, I don't recall, um, you know, a, a situation particular like this uh, but but uh, obviously you learn from it that we'll be able to address uh, figure out what the uh, what the issues were uh, and go to work on, on correcting those issues uh, so you know learning from those mistakes so that we can prevent them you know, hopefully in the future anything else can you remember yeah can you remember the last time you you know almost finished a a, a regulation game with just 40 plays uh, there through four quarters. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, first of all, we better of sustaining drive, to keep the defense off the field. The flip side of that is we only had forty plays. The defense ended up being on the field for a place, uh, and so we got to do our part as one of the three parts of the uh, of the team of, of helping the other team, supporting the other team by you know finding a way to to make those plays, you know, find a way to make those blocks. Uh, cut down on the penalties, cut down on the critical mistakes and errors so that we can sustain drives so that we don't have, you know, a, a situation where we only have uh, 40 plays at the end of uh, regulation. All right, with that, we'll wrap up, Coach. Thank you, everyone.